Hey, this is Daniel. Thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm gonna share with you my favorite five free programs that I use all the time. So are you ready? Let's get to them. Okay, my first favorite free program is Evernote. I've had this program for years. I've used it for all kinds of stuff from daily work logs, shopping lists, lesson outlines, and even keeping track of my customer's information. So how it works is over here on the left, you've got your notebooks, which work kind of like a folder. A notebook can contain individual notes. And a note is basically a fancy text file, which can have formatting. You can insert all kinds of cool stuff from tables, images, attachments, check boxes, even hand sketches and Google Drive links. And if you're someone who researches or collects things from online, there's a web clipping add-on where you can add website snippets into your notes. So I love this program because it's clean, it's simple, and it's cloud synced instantly. So I can write a note on my phone, and as long as I'm online, it'll instantly show up on my computer and vice versa. So I use it to keep track of a lot of important business information that I might need to call up while I'm on a phone call. If I meet someone out in the field, I can pull stuff up very quickly and easily. So right here you see my photography stack of notebooks. This is kind of like a group of notebooks. Each notebook itself contains specific notes. So we've got a top folder, subfolder, and inside of that folder are the individual notes, like I said. So this one, I keep track of all of my business stuff and client information. I've got a lot of my questionnaires and information on clients that I meet. Consultations is just how it sounds. If I meet with someone, I'm gonna write down all the information that they're interested in. Creative ideas, I've got just stuff that pops into my head. Right here, I've got my Black History Month photo shoots that I'm doing actually right now. Just finished my second one yesterday. The education notebook contains a lesson outlines and people that are interested in learning certain topics. Marketing will be outlets that I found online to market myself and other creative ways to reach my target clients and so on and so forth. As you can see, I have my creative endeavors organized into different notebooks and inside of those, I have all the notes that pertain to what I need to remember or pull up later. There's of course a search bar up here on the top left where I can search for text or actual keywords attached to those notes, which is very helpful. If we click on new note, I of course have my note title up here. I can add body text. And like I said earlier, you can add all kinds of really helpful things to keep you organized, including one of my favorites, which is check boxes, great for shopping lists and workflows. You can even do hand sketches within Evernote and insert them if you need to do a doodle or a specific you know, visual drawing. These notes can of course be shared with others and you can invite other people to work on them if you have a coworker or an employee. Okay, my next free program that I love is Earthen View. Now this program, as I've outlined in another video, can do a whole lot of different image related tasks such as editing and adjustment. It can even view a ridiculous amount of different types of file formats. But despite all that, I really only use it for one specific task, which is the batch editing feature. If you open up the program and hit letter B, you get the batch conversion dialog. You can either find pictures to batch edit in the folder dialog or drag and drop them like I like to do. Once you have your files listed here, you can change your format output option. You can change the resizing settings and all kinds of really technical but helpful settings there for your batch editing process. You can tell it where to export and there's some really great renaming options if you need to fix a misspelled file name and a whole bunch of photos you exported already or you need to add numbers or anything like that on a large set of images, Airframe View's got you taken care of. So if you're like me and you do Photoshop work on your exported photos from Lightroom and you need to batch resize them or batch rename them, Earth Review should be your go-to free program to do that. My next free program that I like to play with is Photoscape. Now, Photoscape can also do a bunch of specific photo-related tasks, but most of these I prefer to do professionally in Photoshop. However, the page feature is awesome. It is basically a collage creating feature that makes it so quick and simple. I much prefer making collages in here rather than Photoshop, unless I need to do specific things that I can't do here, then I'll use Photoshop. You can of course define your resolution of your overall collage, pick a layout, which there are a whole bunch of different styles. And just like Earth and View, you can use the built-in dialog to find your photos and add them to these sections. Or you can be like me and do things more complicated and drag and drop files yourself. And voila, in just seconds, you've got a really nice collage with control over your margins, which is the space in between each photo frame. And you can round the corners, even change the background color. All right, next on my list of awesome free programs is of course Blender. Now, if you've missed the fact that I make Blender tutorials, then you must be blind because I love Blender and uh, now a majority of my videos are tending to be Blender tutorials. I use Blender for all kinds of amazing stuff, such as designing digital art, 
creating complete digital environments for my photography composites, and overall just being a complete sci-fi nerd. Although Blender is free and open source software, it is incredibly powerful. It can do character animation, all kinds of different 3D graphic design. It's even being used by high budget studios. And there is a movie on Netflix currently that was made primarily with Blender. So if you hear a free 3D rendering program and you think it's probably a really crappy program, you are completely wrong. And if you're into anything computer graphics related, you definitely need to check out Blender, invest the time and learn it, watch my videos, and you can make some really amazing stuff that can either make you money or just make you look really cool. All right, my last free program is called Everything. Yes, that's right. <laughs> the name of it is Everything because it can search through everything on your hard drive or hard drives instantly. In about two to three seconds, you can find any file anywhere on your hard drive. I have always been annoyed by trying to find obscure files that I lost or misnamed or, you know, I know I downloaded it a year ago and I couldn't find it on my hard drive because Windows search feature is just so slow. I don't understand how and why it's so slow. And that's where everything comes in to save the day. If I know even a little bit of the file name, I type it in and bam, all the folders with the word stone are in there. All the images and other crazy files with that word in are instantly found. As you can tell, as I type, it is instantly refining everything. And that is just incredible. Like literally Windows should pay the creator of this software millions of dollars to get this and build it into the Windows operating system because we need the speed so that we can actually find things that we're looking for instead of waiting like 30 minutes for it to search through the whole hard drive. You of course have other refining options such as matching case, path. You can define what type of file you're looking for. And it's really saved me a lot of hassle because I recently switched from my laptop to a more powerful computer tower. And there's a lot of textures that got misplaced and there was a few folders that weren't named correctly. So I was able to find those, find where they were and move them to the right place or give that folder the correct name so that everything lined up when I moved all my files over. And boy howdy was that convenient. Saved me so much time. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you found some new programs that you'll be playing with very soon. If you have any you'd like to add to this list, comment them down below. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you again soon.